Hello traders, I'm going to do quite a lot of analysis here, I'll cover a, f a few pairs, I'll do it as I go through the charts. So start with Euro Dollar, Euro Dollar on the 28th of January, I said there's a po possible sell opportunity at 132.50, uh, as I've indicated with this this, uh, this area here, and as you can see the price did come down, and it was 200 points, around 200 odd points there, 250. Unfortunately it didn't come down as low as I thought so uh, the, t the trade has now changed direction and there's actually a buy opportunity now on Euro Dollar for the time being but it was good analysis like I said so if, if we if you go back to the video on the 28th of January you'll see 132.50 was my area I did announce on Twitter shorts there it came down for over 250 pips there but like I said it, it uh, unfortunately held so now we're in a, an uptrend on Euro Dollar in the short term anyway so, looking for buying opportunities for the time being, and then a, another area of, of a potential sell. So let me go through that now. If we start to go up to the weekly chart now, and you'll see I've drawn some trend lines in. Look at your own charts, and you'll see these trend lines: this upper one and this lower trend line. This is where we are at the moment. I'm expecting the price to get up to this 136 level, 136.20s possibly. Uh, why have I drawn that level there? Why, why there? Sorry, it's because first of all, you've got this trend line. You've then got, as you as you know, those that follow my videos. I love Fibonacci. I think Fibonacci is an extremely powerful tool. If I draw Fibo steady from this high here down, we've got a 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level at that level. So around 136.25. So we've got a trend line there and a 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level. As always, doesn't mean price is going to just reject that level, but it's highly probable. Many traders will see the level and they will try and potentially start selling there. So watch that area, guys, on Euro Dollar 136.20s. So in the meantime, you can buy, potentially buy up to that level, and then look for sales at that level. So 132, sorry, 136.20s. That's why we're looking for sales on Euro Dollar. Now let me go to an Aussie chart, Aussie Weekly here. So Aussie Dollar trading. Let's see. Doing this on the fly, guys. This is a weekly here. Uh, sorry, daily on the Aussie. I was on a weekly a second ago. Um, okay, weekly. I'm just flipping between charts here guys on the fly as I do this video. Right, weekly chart. Look at this. Resistance here. Resistance here. Resistance here. Okay, now traders have been trying their best to push it even higher and it's failing. The Aussie dollar is failing to get higher on this area. So this area along here is acting as major resistance on Aussie dollar okay now I always try and wait for price action to confirm my decision and I believe I'm now seeing that so you see I've drawn a trend line here we're in a very strong uptrend on the Aussie dollar and most people who see this video and think they know better will say that the Aussie will is highly likely to carry on going up and that's fair enough let them say that um, I'm only trading what I see and price action is telling me that Aussie dollar is a potential short trade. Now I, I, I'm uh, already in the trade. I've got two uh, positions, short Aussie dollar. So two lots at the moment. And I will continue to add to those short positions on Aussie dollar. So let's go to the weekly. Sorry, daily. I keep getting my days and weeks run the wrong way. Sorry about that. So down to the daily. Okay, this is what I see. The trend line has been broken. We have this price bar here. This one, price by a lovely red candle, beautiful. Then we took out the low of that candle here. That candle there took broke the low. So that to me was the confirmed sell signal on Aussie dollar. So I've been looking now for um, this this to come down, and it's been quite a difficult one because this price bar the day after it was a very bullish price bar and the high was taken out there so gotta be careful I don't know for sure if this is going to go down but I have to trade what I see I have to stick to what 
I believe is going to happen. Otherwise, you you get analysis paralysis. You do too much analysis, and you go, oh, um, um, could do this, could do that. So you make your decision, and you just take the trade. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make my decision and take the trade. So my bias short Aussie dollar. So that's what I'm going to be looking for here. Short Aussie dollar, no question in my mind now. And that's what I'm going to stick to. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So this price bar here on Friday is nice and bearish we're looking for a break of the low of that bar and then I think we'll be on our way down so Aussie dollar let's go uh, let me see draw a Fibonacci retracement tool from this high up here down yeah there you go I thought as much um, let me let me um, explain if I zoom in slightly look what's happened so we got the high up here low here price came down and it's come all the way back up and it's hit the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level Aussie dollar has a habit of trying to get up to 78.6 Fibonacci level I know all these things over the years of experience the 61.8 is a is the golden ratio in Fibonacci and most currencies pairs most currency pairs if a price gets there well, they will struggle at those areas anyway so we have this break of the trend line we have this bearish bar which we've taken the low out we took the low out there we then went up it looks may, maybe a reversal was in place possibly hit the 61.8 and has again formed a nether bearish price bar we're looking for a break of that bearish price bar right there we want price down here I'm already in the trade anyway but if you're not in it we want price to break the low this low of this bar so around here we want that low to break and then guys as far as I'm concerned it's a sell opportunity now you've got to be careful with your stops because professional traders know where people put their stop losses so bear that in mind they could easily push it even higher back up to 78.6 so bear that in mind guys it's very important that you put your stop way out of the way so if you get taken out you get taken out so let me zoom out now your stop loss for safety would have to go right out of the, out of the way up here. Well, I appreciate that's quite a distance away, but you have to think like a professional, because professional traders know people will try and put the stop losses here, and they will often push price back up, take the stop loss out, because they can see people's market orders. Just bear that in mind. It's it's very difficult. It's not uh, very well regulated the forex market, so. You know, just just bear that in mind. There's a lot of uh, unscrupulous behaviour going on, so you could easily get stopped out if you put your stop loss there. So put your stop way out of the way. So right out of the way up here. One, where's that? One, one oh six sixties. I'd even say one oh six nineties, just out of the way. So I, what am I talking about? One oh eight, isn't it? Yeah, I do apologise, guys. That's one oh eight not 106 so I do appreciate that's a big stop loss but if you want to do these longer term trades that's how you've got to do it and I've been caught out many many times of putting my stop loss too close and only to be right so you know you're talking quite a hefty stop 200 points plus so it's up to you if you take it but I just love the look at this Aussie dollar and so first point of support on the way back down will be this previous low here down at 106 we're currently at 106 90s so there's 90 points for start but I actually believe if I zoom out here I actually believe the Aussie dollar they've already announced on Twitter I said my target is this level here 104 level down here because of this previous support here support uh, resistance resistance that area was broken eventually and should act as support on the way back down. So 104 is my target. Currently at 106.90, so say 107 to 104, 300 points with a 200 point stop. So let's see. I just want to recheck this again. Yeah, so it's good risk to reward. Good, let me start again. It's good risk to reward on this trade. One to one at least. So you're 200 points risk for potentially 300. 
uh, reward so at least 300 so definitely uh, look at potentially taking Aussie dollar short guys if you're wrong and I'm wrong tough that's trading you can't get them right all the time uh, just bear that in mind a lot of people seem to think that you know if I get a trade wrong or somebody gets a trade wrong oh they don't know what they're doing but you try and do it as a professional trader a retail forex trader it's very difficult to get trades right all the time nobody gets it right all the time if anyone, anyone tells you they do they're a liar it's impossible to get trades right all the time all you've got to do is try and get the majority of your trades correct and stay in the winning trades for as long as possible that's what you're always trying to do so this Aussie dollar I'm expecting to come all the way down here to this 104 level it's a great looking trade guys um, and remember on the previous just a moment ago I spoke about euro dollar that's currently in a buy opportunity so it, it, there's a lot of uh, potential on, on both trades I prefer the Aussie dollar myself short so short Aussie dollar I'm gonna go to the New Zealand dollar now as well just to give you even more free analysis so New Zealand dollar here let me go to the daily zoom out and what I see here guys is a lot of indecision in the markets a lot of sideways action prices up down it's really really difficult to predict what's going to happen there um, the price bars are very um, indecisive so what I'm going to do is put a Fibonacci tool in from this high up here down to the low Okay, we've still got potential to go up to 78.6 on that, so not so sure about the New Zealand dollar now, so I, I'm not going to bother analysing that. You can see where we've been hovering, the 61.8 is held, uh, sorry it's broken and it's, it's, it's now holding on the on the lows, you can see the lows keep holding, so potentially we can get up to the 78.6 and then reevaluate the New Zealand dollar for a sell there. So in the meantime, possible buy opportunities. I don't know of New Zealand dollar. It's a difficult one. So when I'm not too sure, I won't bother mentioning any trade. So Aussie dollar is my favourite at this analysis, guys. Short Aussie dollar. Let's go back to that daily chart on Aussie dollar. It's a lovely trade. Uh, but if you're not already in, like I am, wait for a break of that uh, daily bar before you try and um, short this this Aussie. Oh yeah, I just remembered something actually. Euro dollar. Let me go back to Euro. Euro dollar. I just literally just remembered. Go back to Euro. Uh, let me just go from my chart. One second. One hour, one hour. Four hour. Like I said, God, I'm doing this on the fly. Right, here it is. I just spotted it. Right. Um gaps in the market this is uh, quite a nice little tip gaps in the market are always filled eventually look at this gap here there is a gap there on euro dollar so the gap is where is that gap 130.150 let's zoom right in down to the hourly 130.150 let's try and locate that Where is it? oh, it's gone to, sorry about this guys it's gone back too far in time right here it is here's the gap so let's draw in this let me that, make that obvious to you the gap there It's only a small gap, but price has not come down to fill that gap. That's why I was trying to short Euro dollar last week, because that gap hadn't been filled. Gaps are always filled in Forex. Eventually, it might take a few weeks, but that gap will get filled. So bear that in mind. Euro dollar has not filled this gap here, this void. Uh, I can even colour that in a bit for you, so you can make make, but, uh, make that really obvious. Yeah, so euro dollar let's put that put that in there and zoom out to the daily so I appreciate guys that this is a 
clicking between these charts can get confusing. So I'm zooming right out now. So that gap needs to be filled. It hasn't been filled. I would anticipate that gap being filled sooner or later. It will get filled no matter what. Um, it might. It's funny how the market will do that. It might go up for a bit more longer, and eventually that gap will get filled. So watch out for that. That's why I believe the euro dollar still got uh, huge potential on the way back down. The safest place is, like I said earlier on, to sell the euro would be at be at one thirty six twenty fives up here. Now, guys, my apologies for the way I've structured this video. It is uh, a little bit confusing, but hopefully you've learned a lot. There's a lot on this chart. These charts. Is that gap to be filled on Euro Dollar? Aussie Dollar looks like a lovely sell. I do get it wrong, guys. These aren't um, trades you should take unless you unless you feel comfortable. But I'm I'm pretty sure if you watch my videos in the past, most of them are correct. I only do videos when I think that there's a high probability of them working out because I don't want to look stupid. So you're getting really good analysis here, guys, for absolutely nothing, and you could profit from this analysis. So good luck, um, feedback's always appreciated and I hope you make some money. Thank you very much, bye bye.